Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know why there hasn't really been much Path of Exile content on my YouTube channel since those three starter guides. Basically, I'm not really enjoying this Path of Exile League and in general, I haven't really been enjoying Path of Exile as much as I used to. I'd probably say in the past six to nine months. So these three most recent leagues, um, you know, I'm not trying to hate on the game. I'm not trying to bash on the game. Uh, GGG created a very successful game. Um, you know, it's by far one of the best, actually the best action role-playing game out on the market. It's just as their, um, what is it, what's the word I'm trying to use? As their uh, growth of their game has increased, they have clearly taken a different approach on their game than they used to. Now, a lot of you guys are going to disagree. A lot of you guys just don't understand because... I've been playing the game along with many others since, you know, the early stages of their closed beta slash their late stages of their alpha. Uh, you know, back when you could buy the original Kiwi supporter. If you look on my stream, you'll see highlights from five years ago. And the game was just very different back then. So basically what I'm going to tell you guys is kind of what I don't really enjoy about the current Path of Exile. And if the future leagues, you know, release some of that, some, some changes to that, uh, then I'll be more than happy to play them. And I will obviously be playing every single Path of Exile League because I love the game. I just get frustrated with it now very easily because I've been playing it for so long. And when basic features of the game are still not changed, it just really puzzles me. So let's talk about this current League Synthesis. Now, Synthesis is okay. I don't really have much against it. But one thing about Synthesis that really, really, really throws me off, and when I say throws me off, I mean like... 80% of the chance or 80% of the reason why I'm not playing the league is because GGG made a really bad mistake and they have fixed this I've, I believe or at least if they didn't fix it They said they were gonna fix it which is Monsters spawning right as you enter now a lot of people would say like oh, why does that matter? Well, let me explain to you three years ago four years ago when invasion was released completely separate league it spawned an invasion boss with a you know a set of mobs around uh, any any anywhere in a map, right? So if you're a running shrine, which is a higher tier map, or any map that basically you take a portal and you enter and there's a boss fight, you could spawn right on top of that invasion boss and it could just instantly one shot you and you're dead and that's it, right? So that was a long time ago. When these leagues come out, they've been implementing the exact same system, which causes hardcore deaths to happen instantaneously which is extremely depressing you know dying to something that you don't have much control over just because your build is not that good or not that meta or because it's not you know super tanky is just in my opinion not very acceptable right in incursion in incursion you can spawn into the temple and the constructs can just immediately attack you if you click to move and when this happens your health bars are completely like, I don't know what it is. It's like some weird thing with lore where basically like you can't see anything with your vision. You can't see enemy enemy health bars and you can't see your own health bar. And yeah, I understand there's like little things you could take as a precaution, but there's also little things they could do to prevent that from happening. In synthesis, it was the same thing where you spawn and the monsters just pretty much surround you immediately. Of course, you could, you know, one shot everything, but it's, it's just the simple little things, the fundamental things of the game that I feel as the leagues go on, GDG seems to forget about them until people complain about them when if they remember, you know, a couple of years back, there was a reason why things like this should not happen, right? Does that sort of make sense? Um, another thing about the game is I want sometimes a simple game where I can spend some time, theorycraft my characters, and jump in and enjoy the content. And I can't believe I'm complaining about this, and I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna hate me, like hate me for it, which is part of the reason why I didn't wanna make this video, but I personally feel like nowadays in Path of Exile, there's kinda like too much to do. And I know, let me elaborate before I say that. What I mean is, I remember a couple years ago when I played PoE, I would theorycraft a character in my PoE skill tree, I would get a basic understanding of the uniques I'm gonna go do, and then I would go farm maps until I have the currency to acquire my items. And then I would go higher tier on maps. And then I would decide, is my character a boss killer? Is my character a mapper? Or am I going to go do like Uber Lab, which was, I hate Uber. If you know anything about me, I'm not even going to talk about Lab. So let's go on to the next part. Now I feel like they have kind of changed the way map drops work a lot. And they're balancing it around people doing 
uh, a bunch of different content like delve incursion temples um the beasts are kind of a given you know it's not really that much of a mechanic i'm cool with the beasts uh what else is there there's zana everyone always runs zana now there's this fake zana slash you know other thing the i don't even know what his name is kavas or whatever and sometimes i just want to like play path of exile and just map you know i want to like get a bunch of maps farm you know farm shitty map layouts to build my nice map pool and just spam run these maps and it's just such a disheartening feeling and weird feeling when you see like you know sulfite pop up and you click the sulfite and your sulfite's full so you're like okay i gotta go delve so you go delve and then you get a random bug in delve where like you know the choo-choo truck just leaves you and it's like what the choo-choo truck just left me like that's literally a game breaking mechanic how is that not fixed or, um, you know, me personally, I really dislike the on-death effects all over the place, and I feel like I can't really delve at 150 plus without, like, gluing my eyes to the screen and removing the, a certain color of blue from my, like, color set and only looking at, like, the, the bluish teal ice spiders on the floor that are going to explode. And, you know, I really have tried really, really hard to just not focus on the things that annoy me and just enjoy the core game. But it's just really difficult for me. And I just want to say I'm sorry to you guys, you know? Like, I wish I could produce more content. I wish I could enjoy the game more. I really do, and I've tried. You know, like, Last League and Betrayal. I'm not even going to talk about Betrayal. You guys know I don't like it. I played Betrayal in Softcore, which playing Softcore for me literally felt like I was bashing my head against my door because I've played PoE Hardcore for five and a half years straight. So it just felt really weird to me to die and still be alive because I it was just very odd for me. I really liked the short amount of time I spent, but it's not something I can do long term. It just doesn't really work for me. And the reason why I left Solo Cell Found and went into Trade League is because I noticed that um, there's a lot of cheap items that you can acquire through trading that give you a very nice defensive boost overall Like, you know, whether it's max res or you just get a ton of movement speed and in SSF It takes a lot longer to farm it. So when you die to something that in your opinion You just don't really agree with or is just kind of silly It's really disheartening because you are like grinding to get something that's gonna prevent you from dying But then you died to something that was unexpected because it just doesn't kind of make sense and then you have to start like all over again, right? So anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, TLDR, just not really having the most fun in Path of Exile. So I'm pretty sure I'm stopping this league early. There is a chance I may come back to it, but I don't want to confirm anything. You know, I just want to enjoy myself. So with that being said, let me go ahead and talk about some other things. So there are a couple of games this month, I believe, that are coming out that I am super excited to check out. So number one is going to be the Grim Dawn Forgotten Gods, uh, which is the new expansion for Grim Dawn. If you haven't checked out Grim Dawn, I'm going to do a hashtag sellout, even though I'm not selling out because they're not paying me. It is a fantastic game. It's, you know, like Path of Exile, of course, though, but completely different. It's a lot slower paced. Even if you try to go fast, it's just a slower paced game. It's got a multi-class system. So you pick from two classes and you can basically create the type of character you want. It's very, very complex, just like Path of Exile. Um, extremely complex. Um, and they're getting a huge expansion in this patch. And I like to play um, really interesting characters in Grim Dawn, and Grim Dawn allows for you to do that. I know there's really not that many ARPGs on the market that truly allow you to like create your own type of character. So there's also uh, Risk of Rain 2. I was talking to Uber Elite and he told me that there may be some like Risk of Rain Alpha coming out this month. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Risk of Rain. It's like a side scroll, side scroll, I think it's called side scroll. I don't really know. It's like a two, what, 2D? I'm super bad at this. It's like two, two dimensional uh, click and point. I don't even know how to describe it. I'm sorry. I'm not good at this. It's like a pixel based. Uh, roguelike RPG sort of like go through the levels become really OP destroy shit. It's a lot of fun Anyway, Risk of Rain 2 is has been announced like a long time ago And basically it turns that 2d dimensional feel to a 3d which is huge Like that's a that's a really big change, you know things where I used to just dodge left and right and shoot at them You can now go in a circle, right? So for boss fights as well It's a lot different because 
for example, there's this thing called a magma worm, which would just, you know, it would come up out of the ground and go like that and then come back down. But now in three dimensional, it's not left to right, right? It, it can go where however it wants to an extent. So that was really cool. I was excited to check that out. There's also Torchlight Frontiers. That's not this month. I don't really know much about Torchlight Frontiers, but people were telling me about it recently, which means I'm guessing something's happening to it because I know they announced this a, a long time ago. Um, the one thing about Torchlight Frontiers I'm a little concerned about is that it has kind of like a Diablo 3-esque to it, which is kind of like their skills seem exactly like the way Diablo 3 system is, which is fun for a little bit, and then you realize like, you know, there's not that much customization, and then it kind of gets boring. But it might be fun for a little bit, so Torchlight Frontiers, I believe, is like an ARPG MMO hybrid, or just ARPG, just like Torchlight, but Diablo style, not 100% sure on that. And then the last one that you may see sneak peek on the stream, I'm not including Warcraft 3 because, you know, I say that all the time, so, is They Are Billions. They Are Billions is an extremely difficult RTS game. It's an RTS with pausing, so I don't know, some people say that's not considered real-time strategy because you can pause, but uh, There Are Billions is basically like a zombie survival uh, game where you spawn, you spawn with, you know, a little small amount of units, and your goal is to survive. But the difference between their billions and other RTS games is the game is very fucking challenging, which basically is you um, have, I don't know, let's just say 5,000 zombies on the map, maybe like 3,000, right? And your goal is to expand and clear out the entire map because what happens is, is it's like based off of days. So you can set your days between like 80, 100, 120, 140. And at the last day or, you know, a couple days before the last is a huge wave where basically anything you don't kill comes to attack you along with maybe like another 3000 zombies that come as well and it's not like normal you know they just come and whatever you build towers and block it's it's pretty interesting because there's mobs that can like jump over your walls there are different types you know a lot of different types of units um there's a gigantic fucking behemoth and it's just a really fun game and i get really frustrated at it so if you like watching me get frustrated at other games other than poe that's definitely one to check out you'll hear me rage like probably every 45 minutes in that game um but yeah that's pretty much about it i just didn't want to feel disconnected from you guys on youtube sometimes when i feel disconnected i don't make a video for like two weeks and i didn't want that to happen i really like talking with you guys you know i really like having just the whole I don't know, I guess I just really like my job, right? It's fun. <laughs> I don't want to lose you guys. So anyway, I'm going to catch you guys later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Hope you guys are okay with the lack of PoE content. And I hope some of you can find joy and fun in some of the other games I stream. So take care. Have a wonderful time, everyone. And I'll see you boys all tomorrow.